I'm Lieutenant Amina Baki and this is Fire Station 39. Let's take a tour. We're walking in through the apparatus bay. This is where the fire engine and the fire truck lives and any other equipment we may have. As we go through this door, this will take us to the firefighter quarters. This is where we live and sleep and eat. So the fire station has two floors. Upstairs, that's where the firefighters sleep, and they each have their own room with a bed and lockers. And the reason that everyone has their own bed is because firefighters work 24-hour shifts. So that means that we come to work at 8 a.m. at the start of the day, and then we spend the night, and we go home the next day. That means that we need a place to sleep. We have a beanery, uh, which some of you may call the kitchen in your homes, where we can eat food and keep food. And then we have a place to train and study and do everything we need to do throughout the day. In our beanery, we have food lockers along the wall. This is where all of the individual firefighters keep their food and snacks and even treats when they come to work to get them through the day. We have a big table to sit around just like your family may sit around the dinner table. And then lots of counter space because the firefighters cook together, we clean together, we wash dishes and especially wash our hands. You may notice that a fire station has a few more refrigerators than you may have at your house and that's because in the Seattle Fire Department we have four shifts. We have A shift, B shift, C shift, and D shift. And each shift works 24 hours on a separate day. So each shift has their own space for food so that everyone has enough room to keep food at work when they come from home. If you follow me along, I'll take you to our office. This is a firefighter office. When we're not on calls and helping people in fires and medical emergencies, we have a lot of training and studying that we have to do. We have plenty of books that go over some of the rules and regulations in our job and how to fight fires. And then we have our computer where we can do online training, learn new protocols, uh, so new rules about medical procedures and how we do things on calls as things change. In the office, we also have our bunk room, which is where we sleep at night down the hall. Lockers to keep bedding so everyone comes to work and they have sheets and blankets and a pillow so that when it's their shift, they can put the bedding on the bed and be comfortable at night. And even a bathroom so we can take a shower after we finish training for the day and going on different calls. And if you follow me out, we'll go back out to the bay and that'll complete our tour. Thanks for joining us for Seattle Fire Day.